Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Chaos Lord David. Welcome to our first playthrough of Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Now, I did say in the uh, last part of my Shaolin Monks playthrough I've been wanting to do this, so... Uh, I've actually actually been wanting to do this for a little while to have, uh, after getting into my Shaolin Monks playthrough. But I think I'll do a, a playthrough of this game uh, twice. I may do it a, f a few more times just to kind of like, just, you know, just mess around, but... Mainly, I think this game is just really good, and uh, the second reason is because I want to show you guys how completely fucked up the AI can be in this game sometimes. Even on the easiest difficulty, it can be, can be fucked up. So, for this playthrough, I'll do it on the easiest difficulty, uh, very easy on the uh, novice uh, ladder. And then the next uh, playthrough, I'll let you guys see, my, see me struggle with the hardest difficulty, which is very hard on the champion ladder. Uh, champion ladder, that is. Champion ladder. <laughs> so... I want to show you guys how fucked up this AI can be, except I'll just go ahead and just go through this game just, just for the hell of it. Now for this playthrough, I'm going to play as uh, one of the ninjas. I mean, who doesn't want to be a ninja in Mortal Kombat? I mean, they just all look so badass. I mean, they're the, like the most badass characters in the entire series, in my opinion. I mean, you got Noob, Cybot, Rain, Reptile, Smoke, uh, Human Smoke, if you will, Sub-Zero, uh, Sub-Zero 1, and uh, Ermac, and Scorpion, of course. So, I mean, who doesn't want to be any one of these? But, uh, the uh, character list is uh, pretty grand here. I mean, it's all the characters from MK1 to Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I mean, and there's another game called Ultimate Mortal Kombat Trilogy for the Sega Genesis. The uh, character list is so grand. I mean, you can play as uh, different versions of every character. Like, you can play as Mortal Kombat 1 Scorpion, uh, Mortal Kombat 2 Scorpion, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Scorpion. Uh, not, of course, there's no M Mortal Kombat 3 Scorpion. Regular Mortal Kombat 3 Scorpion, I should say. Because he's not in it. Because that is a big, fat fucking mistake. <laughs> so, I really don't get how they didn't put Scorpion in MK3. But they brought him back at Ultimate MK3. But, uh... But, yeah, there, there's actually a couple characters that you can uh, have different versions of themselves. Uh, in this game, the Sony PlayStation version. Uh, there's four of them. So, uh... If we highlight Raiden, this is Mortal Kombat 2 Raiden. If you press the select button, there's Mortal Kombat 1 Raiden. So if you just press the select button back, it'll just go right back to the uh, other one. Uh, another one is Kano. So you got Mortal Kombat 3 Kano, or Bald Kano is what I like to call him. <laughs> and you got Mortal Kombat 1 Kano, or a Kano with hair. <laughs> uh, another one is uh, Mortal Kombat 3 Jax, Mortal Kombat 2 Jax. And the last one is Mortal Kombat 3 Kung Lao. Mortal Kombat 2 Kung Lao. So uh, those are the only four characters that you can uh, play as different versions of themselves. So I'll go ahead and uh, pick uh, Scorpion. Because Scorpion. I have something I want it that is just complete, completely ridiculous. Choose your destiny. So we're doing on the easiest difficulty, we'll go ahead and pick very the novice. Excellent. Uh, and that's uh, Scorpion's animality, so I'm hoping I actually get it. Uh, there's actually another ninja you can play as... Uh, who's not on the character select screen, and that's a Chameleon. What you gotta do is you gotta uh, select one of the male ninjas, you gotta hold back, R1, R2, which is block and run, high punch and high kick, and you gotta hold them all until the uh, round starts to play as Chameleon. And I'm I'm probably gonna do that after, after I get uh, play as Scorpion for a little bit. So I can kind of mix it up a little bit. Oh, you ruined my flawless victory, damn you reptile! <laughs> okay, so I gotta get let, let reptile beat me. Because you gotta do an animality in the third round. You just gotta do something called Mercy to uh, to uh, be able to do an animality, which is really stupid. Damn it, Reptile! Fuck. Thank you. It's like every time I try to actually beat them, they actually try to kill me. But whenever I'm not trying to, they actually they actually just complete dumbasses. It's ridiculous. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Okay, Mercy. Run down, down, down. Release. There's Mercy. Okay. Fucking hell! I'm pushing the right, the right combination. Forward, up, up, high kick. And I'm put. I'm even having to hold down block, so I won't have to uh, fucking jump. It's ridiculous. Sometimes doing the animalities on here or fatalities period can be kind of fucked up. So next we got Johnny Cage. I'll try and do it again. Because this is just completely fucked up. Fight. 
fuck you, Johnny Cage. No fucking hell. Oh, fuck you and your shadow uppercut, bitch. Stop it. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, I gotta let him uh, beat me again. Ah, damn it. Fuck. Come on, damn it. Come on, you retard. What are you doing, you retard? <laughs> Thank you. Jeez. Took you that long to actually try to beat me. Gotta do it again. I want to actually show you guys that this his animality. It's complete bullshit. Okay, mercy. There it is. Fuck. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my god! What the hell? It's like I gotta let go of block as soon as I hit the last up. Gotta let go of block as soon as I hit the last up, then press high kick. Maybe that's what I should do. It's been so long since I last played this, I forgot how to do actually do fatalities. I got the uh, move list right here. Okay, so we got Shiva. Fucking hell. Damn you, Shiva. Fuck off. Ha! Counter that shit. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, so I gotta let Shiva beat me. Oh my god, dude, I swear, that can be so dumb. Thank you. Damn, Shiva, it took you that long. Nice try, bitch. Fucking hell, he actually got me. Okay, Mercy. Let's try that again. There it is! What the fucking hell was that? Scorpion turning into a penguin for his animality? No logic much? What the fuck, Midway? <laughs> what the bloody hell? <laughs> scorpion turning into a penguin? Why not Scorpion turn into a scorpion, huh? And you decide to let Sheba's animality be a scorpion? That's not logic, Midway. <laughs> Damn. I, I'm only gonna do that one more time. That's just hilarious. It's because of that. No, no logic is involved. No, no logic. Damn, Kano. Fuck. He's starting to be a, actually a bit a little cheap. Be a, a bit cheap. Oh, I missed. Him. Oh, yep, he blocked it. Fuck. Shit. Oh, look at that shit. Fuck. Just a ball hair away. Damn it. You can't reach me. Fuck you. Jesus. Damn, Kano. Sit down. Sit down, bitch. But yeah, these guys are actually starting to actually be a bit cheap. Fucking hell. I hate it when he does that cannonball. It's bullshit. Okay. Yep. He's starting to actually be a bit cheap. This is on the easiest difficulty, mind you. It's bullshit. But it's about time I actually got that animality. So yeah, you gotta actually let go of block. Uh, you can do the. You have to hold block for the. Uh, I press start for. Damn it! Thank you. Um, you have to hold block for like the uh, forward, uh, forward up, and down, and back. Because if you ha if you have uh, fatalities that involve uh, involve uh, pushing up, that's what's gonna mess you up in doing a fatality or animality and stuff like that. So you got. It's mainly it's safe that you just hold block and. Uh, uh, do the movements before, and you gotta let go of block before you do the uh, executing uh, command, like the high kick or high punch and whatnot. I want to do that animality one more time to sh see how much bullshit that is. There's like no logic in it. No logic. I mean, will they? Did they ever get that right of making Scorpion become a actual Scorpion for like an animality?
Okay, so let's actually try to do this again. But I think after you, uh, like, lose a couple rounds, they might actually kind of simmer down a little bit. That did not even reach me, for fuck's sake. I swear. Sometimes the sweeps can be ridiculous. Aha, oh, that was lovely. Sit down, Kano. Okay. I'm going to have to let him beat me. Fucking quad elbow. Come on, damn it! Yep, as soon as I press the high punch, he, he throws me. No matter what you do, they can read you like a book. Even on the easiest difficulty. It's bullshit. Okay, hope I get this. Fuck. Come on, dude. Bullshit! Fuck! I am hitting him for fuck's sake. I'm about to get stuck in the corner. Fuck! Damn! I want to do the do his animality one more time. I really want to do it. I press, I press start. Come on. It's like you just gotta wait for a little bit until you press start until you have to go back to the menu. But yeah, this is on the easiest difficulty, mind you. And these guys can actually still be kind of still be pretty cheap. Ah, uh, the glory of classic games, where the AI is almost imp at impossible level. Scorpion. The old glory days of almost in nearly impossible AI, no matter what difficulty you play on. However, I think there is a Mortal Kombat game that actually uh, does a... Uh, a classic Mortal Kombat game, mind you, uh, that actually does... Uh, the AI reflects on what difficulty you pick on. But this game does not. As you can see right there, Kano is being cheap as hell. It's starting to actually become a little cheap. Even on very easy. It's ridiculous. Oh, how did I not finish the combo? It's bullshit. Look at that, and I'm stuck in the corner. It's bullshit. Bullshit! Damn. Fuck. Yep, look at this bullshit. Look at that bullshit. Ah, fuck! Damn it. Come on. That did not even touch me! Yep. That was his brutality. Rub it in my face much, Kano? Yep. Very easy, diffi easiest difficulty. AI is still cheap as hell. Bullshit. <laughs> uh, this is probably the main reason why I'm playing this game, just so I can show you guys how cheap the AI can be, no matter what difficulty you play on. It's ridiculous. Damn. I just want to get the animality before I choose uh, uh, before I switch to a uh, playing as Chameleon. kind of mix it up a little bit. I mean, I might could just do like a Scorpion's animality or not not his anima not just his animality, but his uh, fatalities also. But there's some other ones I want to show. They're actually kind of cool. He's Now I was about to say he was kind of about to simmer down a little bit. Fuck you. Look at that run animation. It's pretty ridiculous. Look at that bullshit. Now he's trapped me in the corner. That did not... I don't think that even touched me. That was BS. Yep, blocked it. Teleport punch is out of the question. Uh, not all the time. Fucking hell. Oh, take that, Kano. Eat it. Eat it. Fuck you. Okay, I'm hoping that he doesn't fuck me over this time. Okay, bitch. Bitch. Block it. Damn you. Damn it, fucker. Jeez. It's bullshit. I swear. 
I just want to do his animality one more time. One more. Because I cannot get enough of that. I cannot get enough of how... In, lo in logic, illogically, that is. I mean, how can the name someone with the name Scorpion not have his animality as Scorpion? In this game, that is. <laughs> no logic. Okay, if I can't, I'll try one more time. If I don't get it, I'm just going to have to go all out against this bitch. Because I've had it with his AI. Easiest difficulty, mind you. One last time. It's bullshit. Fucking hell. Eat it, Kano. Fucking bitch. Ha! <laughs> Fuck you, Kano. Sit down. Okay, I gotta let him beat me up. Okay. Now at least he's actually doing something for once. Jeez. Uh, I swear, every time you try to do an uppercut, that's what they'll do. It's ridiculous. Yep. Now I'm stuck in the corner. Fuck you. Kano wins. <sighs> that's uh, I'm 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 I'm. I'm 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 done just doing that. I'm done. Time to time to beat his ass up. I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. Time to beat his ass up. It's like and there's actually a couple of characters that you can do cheap bullshit to other characters to uh, ensure they actually go to go to get past him. It's like the only way you can beat this game. Uh, there's two of them that actually have this kind of shit. That's Noob Cybot and Rain. I'll show you guys Noob Cybot. Because Noob Cybot. Uh, Noob Cybot has this move, uh, that, which is the uh, Cloud Disabler. Makes him, it's just basically self-explanatory. He throws a cloud that basically just makes them disabled and they can't attack you or anything. All they'll do is just like try to run back and forth and shit. But they'll, they'll do nothing to you except uh, just run back and forth and that's it. Basically, you just got the game won right there. Fight. Like this. Bullshit. Look at that ridiculousness. Noob Cybot wins. Now I forgot to write down Noob Cybot's animality, but I'll just go ahead and do his uh one of his fatalities. Okay, uh, one of his fatalities, let's see. Uh, close is down, down, up, down, down, up, right. Fuck! Cybot wins. It's like I got, yeah, I got to I think, I think that even applies to, uh, uh, directional commands as well. Mainly, you just got a whole block for the stuff like, uh, whenever you, uh, involves the up button. It's when you got a whole block for fatalities that involve the up button. So I'll try it one more time on Cabal. But yeah, that Cloud Disabler is what basically kind of your way of cheap bullshit. Okay, fuck you, Cabal. Stop that! Okay, now he's got me trapped in that fucking move. Okay, you bitch. Eat it. Eat it, Cabal. Okay, once more. I fucked up the combo. There it is. Okay, one more. <laughs> that was kind of funny. But no, that wasn't his fatality. Damn it. I was trying to do one of his fatalities, which I think is kind of silly. Uh, I might just go to, uh, 
uh, picking Rain here in a little bit. Maybe when I get to Motaro, I may have to uh, pick uh, Rain. Because Motaro, even on the easiest difficulty, can be fucking cheap as hell. Not to mention Shao Kahn. Motaro and Shao Kahn are cheap as hell. No matter what difficulty you play on. No matter what ladder you play on, they're cheap as hell. Oh, oh, I ducked under that shit. Of course, you got fucking Sindel. Okay, so we got two characters for an endurance round. This is, of course, MK1 Kano who's back. I actually like that combo. It's quite killer. <laughs> that teleport throw is actually really funny. <laughs> That's why I like playing as Noob Saibot sometimes. And also this move also, <laughs> the shadow throw. Noob Saibot is actually a really fun character to play as. If you don't, if you just ignore the whole uh, cloud disabler, then he's fun to play as. That combo is just ridiculous. Okay, I gotta get sweep range. Back, back, forward, forward, triangle. Okay, and the game just froze on me. Oh, never mind. So yeah, that's Noob Saibot's uh, second... Uh, no, that's his first fatality. I tried to do his second fatality, but it just kind of failed. Uh, was fail balls. Maybe I maybe I uh, read a wrong uh, fact page and uh, didn't have like an executed command for the uh, second fatality because sometimes game fact pages can even fuck you up. Some of the fact pages are wrong on there, which really pissed me off. Okay, so we got Motaro. You can even disable Motaro as well. Fuck. I thought it was going to bounce right off of him. Yep, there it is right there. The trick here is to uh, make sure the projectiles will work on Mataro so that you don't get uh, um, away from him at a dis not too far from him at a distance. Because if he's at uh, a bit of a distance away from you, then it will just bounce right back. But, uh, okay. Because most of the time I did it when, it, when he was right, right next to me. It always worked. Okay, there it is right there. Again. Uh, again. Fuck, 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 fuck. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Fuck. Motaro. Damn it, Motaro. Jeez. Fight. Take it. Take it, Motaro. Take it. Ow, that horse kick. Got him trapped in the corner. Take it! Huh. Went a little better than I thought. But still, this is bullshit. Most of the time, the AI is just completely cheap. The only way to get through this game is to having to use cheap bullshit. Cheap spam moves. Like, of course, you got that uh, cloud disabler is one of them. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's actually a little boring for me to keep doing the same shit over and over again. Okay, so we got Shao Kahn. I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay, fuck you. Okay, damn you, Shao Kahn. To hell with you. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't work on Shao Kahn. Fucking hell. But it's ridiculous having to resort to cheap, cheap bullshit moves most of the time. Uppercut in the nuts, bitch. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can actually win this. Fuck! 
But yeah, the only way to beat Shao Kahn is to basically just wait until he does that uprising, that flying, that upwards knee. So you can catch him in a combo or an uppercut, in an uppercut. Then you can like, try to follow up with a combo whenever he gets back up. Okay, so that was Noob Saibot, one of the uh, cheaper, char cheaper characters in the game. But probably not the cheapest, because I think the most uh, cheated, cheapest, over cheapest character in the game, which is I think it's probably the most OP character, is Rain. There's one move that uh, uh makes him even more even more cheaper than Noob Saibot. Because there's without a doubt, Rain is probably the most o OP character, OP and cheapest. Without a doubt. So you have to try and catch Shao Kahn off of it. Fight. And that's that move right there, the water ball. Which basically, basically you can control the enemy, the opponent, uh, and make him go wherever you want to go, want him to go. And you can spam this shit too, you can spam it. Look at that, it's bullshit. Complete bullshit. Just keep doing this over and over again, and have to rely on this bullshit to win. Look at that. Flawless victory. Basically, you have to do stuff shit with no skill in order to be able to beat to beat this game. No matter what AI AI difficulty setting you've got it on, it's bullshit. Fucking miss me twice with the hammer. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, I've, I've had enough of this AI. Time to end it. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Still, I hate the fact that you gotta deal with shit like this. Okay, he's done. Right in the balls. <laughs> okay, so we got the old classic MK3 Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 ending. Shao Kahn turns green and explodes. Fortress goes along with him. Rain wins, Shao Kahn is no more. You are the Mortal Kombat Trilogy Champion. We yeah, we know this shit. We know this shit. So it's ridiculous how to resort to a cheap spam moves like that. It's bullshit. So I think I'm stuck on a black screen now. I don't know why it's having to make me not show like the Shao Kahn's treasure list right now. It's, it's bullshit. But yeah, that's basically uh, that's basically MK Trilogy right there on the easiest difficulty. And I hear is that all I hear is that little dark music in the background with nothing coming up, like the Shao Kahn treasure list, like it's what it should be doing. Well, that's basically a Mortal Kombat trilogy on the uh, very easy, uh, very easy mode. So, uh, so yeah, the next uh, next playthrough I will do, I will def I will do the very hard, the hardest difficulty setting. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.